Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert a CSV file, otherwise known as a common separated values file, into classical Excel format. And how do we also convert a tab delimited file into classical Excel format or file? So, in case you don't know the differences between a CSV, otherwise known as a common delimited file, and a, 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 a tab delimited file, I would show you that quickly. The two, whether CSV or a tab delimited file, are both text files. So let me show you, we have two types of CSV files. We have the CSV file, we have what we call actually a CSV file and then a semicolon separated values file, but they are both often referred to as CSV files. So for instance, if you are using in Excel, if you want to import a semicolon file, you use CSV2. If you are to import a classical CSV file, you use uh, CSV, simple CSV. I wouldn't go into the details. Also note that uh, you can obtain CSV or text files from a Microsoft Excel. You can just save, a, a, I mean, your data in the form of a CSV file or a tab delimited file. So let me open this particular CSV file and show you that is this a comma delimited file. So let me open it with Notepad and you see what it is. So when I open it with Notepad, these are the variables or the columns. We have students. This is the student number one, student number two in that order. This is the age. But you see that the data is arranged in, is separated by comma. That's why we call it a common separated file or a common delimited file or a CSV file. Now let's quickly look at the other form of CSV file, which is the semicolon delimited file. All right, this is a semicolon delimited file right here. If I should right click on it, this is actually used in the Francophone sector because in the Francophone sector, a CSV file, the equivalent is a comma, del a, a semicolon delimited file. So let me right click on it and show you something. If I should open it with my notepad, see what we've got. So you see that these are the variables and you know, we have the values separated or delimited by semicolon. That's why we call it a, a it's also a CSV file, but this one is separated by semicolon. So right now I'm going to show you, okay, let's quickly look at the text file. Uh, or me, I mean a, a tab file. All these are text files in actual sense. So let's open this one. This is a tab file. The values are separated by the tab key of your, your, your keyboard, your PC keyboard. For instance, I can, if I just press the tab key, I can start to, within my notepad, I can start to write a text, a, a tab file. I can just write, for instance, school. And then when I, I'll come down here and click on the tab uh, key once again, and I'll say, for instance, JHS. Now I'll come and click here once again. And this is what we term as a tab file. So now how do we convert whether it's a CSV file or a tab file into back into Excel format. So let's, let me quickly show you how to do that. All right. To do that, you will have to open a fresh Excel page or sheet. So you simply in your start menu, you write your search for Microsoft Excel. Here it is. I have Excel here. Then I just open the Excel. As soon as you open Excel, okay. You see that we've opened fresh Excel worksheet. There's nothing in it. Now you want to open, you will open your, your CSV file into Excel. You read it into Excel. And how do we do that? For instance, look over here. Please note the names of the files so that when we are browsing for it, we wouldn't have any difficulties. So we have book one, we have data prima, then we have book one in the form of a uh, tab file. So let's start first of all with the first type of the common separated file. Then we look at the semicolon separated file and we end up with the tab delimited file. Okay. So starting with the common separated file, 
or values file to import it we simply have to come over here in your excel come and click on data when you click on data come over here and you will find open from text remember i told you that csv files or tab delimited files are both text files so we will click on open from text and this dialog box displays so we will now browse for the data remember that we kept our data on the desktop so we simply come and click on desktop or wherever you've kept your data then we navigate for here it is so we will start with a csv file so i just select it and i say import as soon as i click on import see what happens we have this dialog box displayed here and now in this dialog box what are we going to do we are going to leave it as delimited is delimited by comma so we, it's a delimited file we just leave it that way and then we will indicate that the first row contains the, the names of our or the headers of our our data in other words the the, the titles of our columns so if you don't do that it will consider for instance student age and sex it will consider this this row as uh, responses meanwhile these are actually the titles so we have to select this one and then we click on next so when we click on next please note here what happens right now by default it's telling us that the file is a tab file meanwhile the file is actually a common separated file so we simply uncheck tab and then watch as soon as i select comma it will convert the data into rows watch what happens okay perfect now after checking comma we simply hit on next and finish so when you click on finish see what happens let me minimize it and you see what happens you see that by default it has selected a cell but we don't want to place our data here so it's always preferable watch what happens by default it has selected this particular cell but we don't want to place our data there we want to place the data right from the very first cell so what you do is that in order to change this default selected cell you simply come and click on this button and come over here and click on the last cell here so when you click on the last cell okay then you come back here and come and click on this button and just hit on ok so as soon as you hit on ok you have your data imported into excel so right now you can do whatever you want to do with your excel you can make calculations for instance let's calculate the mean age to calculate the mean age let me scroll down sorry 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 i just pressed whatever so let me try to increase a little bit the columns the width of the columns okay so to calculate the mean for instance i just write equal to then i'll say average and then let me calculate the mean quickly okay sorry let me scroll down okay okay no problem let's let me go up and start it from there so that so we simply select this cell down to the bottom sorry i don't know why i keep okay i just close the parenthesis and hit enter it has calculated the mean for us i just did it to show you that when you import the data it works normal as normal excel file so i've just calculated the mean of our date our the mean age for instance which is right below here
and it has given us the answer to be 28 point something but let's now quickly uh, see how do we save this data this now we we now have it in the excel format so what that means is that we can save this data on our desktop or wherever in a normal excel format so to do that you simply uh, click on this place we click on file and then we click on save us i can put it on the desktop we've been able to open our ca we have converted our csv file back into the c so we make sure you click over here and make sure you select excel workbook and you are okay you are true to go select desktop and click on save so we can name this one book book two for instance this is the excel format let's name it book two and you see we have succeeded in converting our csv file into what uh what do we call it into excel format if you would like us to also convert the other one so if i should come to the desktop you have your book two right here for you this is the excel file here so we have book one and book two let me quickly show you how to also open the semicolon file it's just the same format and then the tab file quickly so let's open excel once again excel fresh page of excel as soon as excel this time around i'll try to be as fast as possible so i wouldn't waste so much time okay so i will simply click on what data come and click on open from text okay and then you're gonna browse for your file we've kept it on the desktop so i select desktop and i want to convert the tab delimited file the csv sorry the csv file the semicolon file actually then i'll click on import here it is then i'll leave it as delimited i'll select this and i'll say next and then watch what happens as soon as i uncheck this and i select semicolon it has arranged the data for us and we just repeat the same procedure next and then we click on finish and by default it has selected the last cell so we simply hit on ok and we have our data to save the data we click on we have our data now in excel format to save the data we click on file save us you want to put it on your desktop wherever you want to put it you have the choice and we can name this one excel and we are done for instance let me save it now let me quickly show you how to also save the the what we call it the how to open how to convert the tab file into csv file is the same thing all you have to do is simply come and click you can right now instead of opening a new excel worksheet we can actually just click here and open a new sheet and use it to do our conversion so i'll simply come and click on data come and click on open from text we browse for the data this is the tab the tab file right here click on import then after when you click on import you come and click on what select this click on next and automatically this is a tab file so you see that by default the data is already arranged in excel format then we hit on next or just say finish and then we hit on ok and we have our data converted and we can also save it on our desktop Thank you so much for watching and this is how we convert a csv or a text file or better still a tab file into excel format please subscribe and like the video if you really like it and give your video suggestions for the next tutorial bye